Hey guys, this is Mike Keenan here. Today I'm going to be going over how to configure an IPsec VPN using Ike version 2 between a Cisco ASA firewall, another Cisco ASA firewall, and a Cisco iOS router. We'll be using Ike version 2 with pre-shared keys. So starting off, we'll look at our topology. We're using a hub and spoke with the Cisco ASA being the hub and the router being a spoke and the other ASA being a spoke. We have five hosts in here. We have um, a workstation over here, and these are all servers. This is uh, Apache Web Server B1, B2, C1, and C2. We have three different environments, three different sites. We have site A, site B, site C. In the middle here, we have the internet. All this router is representing the internet. And let's get into it. Here's the configuration that we're going to be using. We're going to be using the Cisco ASA. This is his configuration. This is mostly the VPN configuration. I've included a, a little bit additional configuration in here just so you can see it. This is the other the router spoke. And this is the other Cisco ASA. And let's go ahead and look in the configuration. Here is the hub uh, ASA. He is version 9.91. Here is the router's configuration. He is running iOS software 15.6.2. Here's the other firewall. And he is running 9.91. So let's go ahead and jump into the configuration. We're going to start off by configuring his access list for the interface access list. Very important to understand the difference between the interface access list and the interesting traffic ACL access list that we'll be using for the VPN, otherwise known as the crypto ACL. Let's go access list, inside of access in, extended permit, IP 10.1.1.0. the access group so this in, this access group is going to tie the access list to the interface and we're going to make the phase 1 policy Policy 10, we're going to give it an encryption AES GCM. Now, because we're using GCM, we don't have to use an integrity or a hashing algorithm, so we're going to give it a value of null. Give it a Diffie Hellman group of 5. PRF of SHA 256. Lifetime value in seconds, 86,400 seconds. Now we're going to define our 
IPsec proposals. This is for phase two. going to give it an encryption algorithm of AES-192. And we're going to give it a hashing algorithm SHA-256. So that's going to be the first IPsec proposal that we use for site B. This next IPsec proposal is going to be for Site C. I'm just going to give it a dash two. Same thing. Shot 256. Now we're going to configure our group policies. This is for site B. We're going to define the VPN tunnel protocol as Ike version 2. If you wanted to, you can stick Ike version 1 in there as well, and it'll negotiate with the other VPN appliance which version of Ike they want to use. Group policy 3.3.3.2. We're saying internal instead of external. This is for site C. Again, a VPN tunnel protocol of Ike version 2. And then we're going to configure our tunnel groups. Define it as an IPsec LAN to LAN. We're going to give it its IPsec attributes. And what we're going to do here is we're going to define the remote and the local pre-shared keys. And we're going to the same. We're going to use the same key for the local. If you're using different keys, you would want to make sure that they're. Um, flipped on both sides, so this side would be the remote key, the other side would be the local key, and so on. Now we're going to tie the group policy to the tunnel group under the general attributes. And we're going to do the same thing. This time I'm just going to copy and paste it for site C. Now what we're going to do is we're going to define the interesting traffic ACLs, or otherwise known as the crypto ACLs. Now you could use the interface ACL if you want to, but if you're doing NAT or something to that effect, or if you have or if you have more than one uh, VPN configured on here, you might want to use um, crypto ACLs instead of the interface ACLs. So we're going to say access list VPN site B1. We're going to say allow the host within the 10.1.1.0 subnet to 10.2.2.0. We're going to do the same thing for site B or for site C.
we are going to change the destination. And now we're going to define our crypto maps. Set the peer to site B. And we're also tying up here, we're tying the access list to the crypto map. tie the proposal to it and I'm just going to copy and paste for site C and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie that crypto map to the interface And then I'm going to enable Ike version 2 on the outside interface. There we go. Now, what we're going to do is configure site B first. So we're going to go to site B and we are going to configure the Ike version 2 proposal. We're going to give it an encryption algorithm of AES GCM 128, PRF SHA 256, Diffie Hellman Group 5. Now, what we're going to do is define our Ike version 2 policy. We're going to tie the proposal to the policy, and that's all we're going to do with it. Now we're going to make our transform set. We're going to give it an encryption standard of ESP AES 192 and its hashing algorithm we're going to use SHA-256 SHA-256 HMAC now we're going to create our key ring And we're, we're going to jump into the, the peer configuration.
and we're going to call it site A, in fact, which is actually different over here, just so that you're aware. This needs to be site A. Doesn't need to be, but it just makes sense to for it to be site A. We're going to say address 1.1.1.2 because that's the ASA is or site A is outside IP, the peer address for site A. And we're going to give it the same pre shared keys. And we're going to configure the Act version 2 profile. And say match the peer IP at 1.1.1.2. And we're going to say send our local address is as our identity. This is as opposed to say a certificate. We're going to say the authentication that the remote end is going to use is a pre-shared key and also for the local as well. We're going to tie the key ring to it. And we're going to create our interesting traffic ACL. Say permit IP very important to remember that these are wildcard masks because we're on a Cisco IOS router so we're saying this is going to be flipped on both sides so on this side it's going to be 10.2.2.0 destined to 10.1.1.0 on the other side at site A, it's going to be 10.1.1.0 desk to 10.2.2.0. Now we're going to define the crypto map. And this sort of ties everything together. say it's going to use IPsec and we're going to give it the peer of site A so we tied the transform set to it now we're going to try the profile, the Act version 2 profile. And now we're going to tie the interesting traffic ACL to it. And lastly, we're going to configure the crypto map to be on the Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 interface. That's his outside interface. And there we 
go. Now let's test it just to make sure that it works. We'll go over here to site A. And what we're going to do to test it is we're going to run a packet tracer command. We're going to try to match the interesting traffic of the ACL. We're going to say packet tracer input inside TCP and we'll just say the source IP is going to be 10.1.1.25. Give it a random source port and then we're going to destine it to 10.2.2.25 and we're going to say 4.4.3 and test it. Now it's going to drop it first. Uh, it shouldn't have dropped so fast. Let's see what's the problem here. So it dropped right off the bat. No route to host. That's why. So we need to add a route. Let's pull up our topology. So right now we're logged into site A. So we got to give him his default route. We're going to say his default route is going to be the internet router at 1.1.1.2 or 1, I should say. There we go. Now let's try it out. Dropped. There it goes. It allowed it. Now let's go over to our computer over here. Let's see if we can ping 10.2.2.25. Uh, we can't ping him. Let's try to find out why. Let's ping our default gateway. We can ping our default gateway. Let's see what could be the problem. It's because he's 10.2.2.15. There we go. Let's see if we can curl for his web page. Yep, there it is. Let's bring it up. You can see that in action. Let's see if we can hit these two hosts. There's host one, Bravo one. Let's try host two. There's host two. There we go. Now let's look at the captures just to make sure that we're going over the VPN. And as you see here, here's the ISACAMP packets for phase one. Now let's try refreshing this. And there it goes. So you see the ESP packets, those are the ones that encrypt the data as they go over the VPN. And over here you can see the plain text HTTP um, happening. So there you have it. We have configured and verified IPsec with Ike version 2 using pre-shared keys from the ASA to the Cisco iOS router. Now we're going to do the same thing to site C. And this time I'm going to be copying and pasting since we already know what the configuration looks like. Let's go to site C. All right, let's see if this works. Fingers crossed.
Oh, we need to add an access list. Oops. So what we're going to do is add another one to allow another interface ACL to allow the traffic from our local subnet to site C's environment at 10.3.3.0. Now let's try it. Oh. And it's dropping it. Let's try to find out why. So we have our interesting traffic ACLs. Let's see if we forgot anything. We have our crypto maps. They seem to be good. We have our tunnel groups, those seem to be good. We have our group policies, those seem to be good. Let's go over here and look at site C. have our tunnel group. Our group policy. It's outside. I think I know what the problem is. Yeah, we need to add a route. So what we're going to do is we're here on at site C, so we need to add a default route to 3.3.3.1. It's an ASA, not an iOS router. Let's see if it works. It's going to drop the first one. And it, there you go. There we go. It allowed it that time. So there you have it. We have configured successfully a VPN from a from the site A over here, a Cisco ASA firewall to a Cisco iOS router and also another Cisco ASA firewall using Ike version 2 with pre-shared keys. And let's just go ahead and check to see if we can hit site C over the VPN. Let's go to 10.3.3.15. There's C1. There's C2. And let's do another capture here. Look at those ESP packets. There they are. There's Ice Camp. There's ESP. So there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. And I hope to see you in the next one.